Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you've saved a document, you can change its name later. If, for example, you wanted to make a copy of a document before attempting to make changes to it, which is certainly recommended, you could resave it with a different name. Maybe you'd like to save the document with the same name to a new location, or just save it to the same location with a different name. Either way, in order to accomplish this, you must use the Save As dialog box. So in this situation, you'd have to choose File, and then Save As, to access the Save As dialog box, since pressing the Save button, or choosing File Save from the menu bar, would not work in this case. Once you have the Save As dialog box open, you may rename the document in the file name, or choose a different location into which to save it using the Save In drop-down at the top. So here I just called it Copy Of and then the document name. You can then make the changes that you would like. If the changes that you made were successful, you could then save the copy back over the original, overwriting the changes, or, if they were not successful, you could simply discard this document and delete it through the Windows system so that you never put the original and only copy that was available in it any jeopardy at any time. So, if this was successful, I could simply choose File and Save As, and then take the information that's in the copy and overwrite the original by just simply selecting the original document that I want to overwrite my changes to, and then clicking Save. It tells me this already exists and asks if I want to replace the file, save changes with a different name, or merge the changes into the existing file. I'm just simply going to replace the existing file and click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.